Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Asmarant, and this is a video that I didn't want to do, but I had to do it. Who's better, Jimmy G or Trey Lance? Now the reason I had to do this was because after the game, which well done to the 49ers and well done for the rookie Trey Lance, who put his effort in really well. After that, so many reports, so many web websites, and even on Facebook group Facebooks like NFL UK, 49ers groups and stuff like that. So many people hating on so many people. Jimmy G, Trey Lance. Now let me give you like a pure example, which I've got on here on the computer, and I'll put it down on the bottom of my video, right? And we'll go through this together. It's not a lot, but there's a few. So let me give you like, a pure, like an example, right? Here's one, okay? So Trey Lance is a 21-year-old kid with just three starts in the last two years. He hasn't played in months. Anyone brushing this off because he played the Texans or because he has talent around him is clueless. Get used to big plays for the 49ers. Uh, and this is on Next Gen Stats. So Next Gen Stats is Trey Lance brought a vertical element to the 49ers offensive in his second career start. Lance averaged the most air yards attempt 11.5 and threw for the most yards on 10 plus air yard passes, 205, by the 49ers quarterback in a game over the last three seasons. But the person who put on that, and I'm not going to put the person's name, because, you know, that's his right. Trey Lance is a 21-year-old kid with just three starts in the last two years. He hasn't played in months. Anyone brushing this off because he played the Texans, or because he has talent around him, is clueless. One, he's right. But, yet again... Because Kyle Shanahan hasn't given him that opportunity, yeah, one game is just one game. And he did very well. First half, we were janky. Second half, we did well. Really well. Anyone brushing this off because you played the Texans? Not brushing it off. If you see him on the stats, yeah, okay. But he did really good for someone for a rookie that should have started with Jimmy G. Jimmy G might have been QB1, but they could have done first and second quarter Jimmy G, third and fourth quarter Trey Lance. Because at the end of the day, Trey Lance is going to be your, my, future franchise quarterback for the 49ers. Why not lose him now? I'll give you another one. This one, happy for Trey. It would be nice if the fans could give props without bashing Jimmy. Hate is our different breed of petty. Just be thankful we won. Number one. Always thankful we won. Number two, we shouldn't have Jimmy G for what he did. An example, Jimmy G, the sacks that he's had. Okay, that's not retaining he, his fault. That's the defense's fault. But he's got a part of the blame, to blame as well. Did you see how Trey Lance come out of the pocket? Quick. Why aren't he doing the same? Oh, he's got a calf injury or calf, or he's not taking risks. Who cares? That should be in his head. When you're in that pocket, you can go anywhere. If they're coming through, go out. Trey Lance did a lot of out pockets. And then when he knew that the defense could hold, he pushed back. When they started coming in, left or right. Jimmy G don't do that. Sometimes, but not all the time. Why not? And he could have some great plays. I'm not saying Jimmy G the worst that'd be bad. But it's not you're not the greatest. He's a very good quarterback, but he's not the greatest. And the 49ers history of quarterbacks are great, or supposed to be up to great. To put Jimmy G in there, yeah, okay, maybe we we could have won. But how many times would have an interception would have come up? A sack. Yet again, not half his fault. Defense, but it all that it all adds up to him. This is the next one. Well, Niner fans, what do you want? Jimmy G playing next week and having a better chance for a win than shitting the bed against uh, against the Cards or Packers or Bucks. Or Trey playing next week and losing to the Rams because it just isn't a, equipped, experience-wise, to cope with a playoff team's defence. You pick Jimmy G for a chance uh, to advance or the future quarterback getting his ass kicked but gaining va uh, valuable experience. So what would I want personally? Jimmy G to play 
or Trey Lance to play? I would like Trey Lance to play. I would. You're going to say, why do you want Trey Lance to play? Well, I'll tell you why I want that. Jimmy G could have the experience. But he lacks risks. And when he does have the ball, and someone's open one end, straight that it's straight to another person who's covered, but it will take that risk. I'm not saying Trey Lance has done that. Trey Lance did do that. But when you build up, you know, you get your head out your backside. Did you see what Trey Lance did in the first half, to the, first, the, the second half, then the first half? First half, he was awful. And I will admit that he was awful. But I didn't shout like I'd shout like Jimmy G, I'd shout. I shout, you know, Jimmy G, I, I do not expect. I expect a few. In, uh, uh, no one expects interceptions. One or two? Okay, we expect one or two. This guy's more than one or two interceptions. You know that. Trey Lance, he had an interception. I was like, oh, come on, Trey. Oh, Christ almighty. I didn't go way over the top because the kids he's a kid, he's a rookie. He's learning. And then he threw another deep pass. Yeah, he threw Texans' hands. I was like, oh! And, but then I think he threw for, for Samuel or Kittle. He threw for Kittle. Kittle got the ball. But there you go, he's a risk taker. He took risks. It works. Some it pays off, some it don't. But he takes risks. And if I if we lose to the Rams with Trey. I'm not going to go madly mad because we could have a chance at the Super Bowl. But my brain's saying, nah, take every game per step. You know, Rams, you know, beat us clearly with a great offense, great defense. That's why, you know, they're good at what they are. That's why we're near enough, could, could have been number one. But, of course, you break them down, and then you can beat them. I think we can beat them. I think our defense is uh, very good and can be better to hold up, hold them off for your quarterback to get deep throws, long throws, short throws. Our offense has got to be number one. It has to be one hundred percent on form. It has to be the greatest because you're going into a playoffs. Jimmy G or Lance, Jimmy. If it's Jimmy G, fine. It's Jimmy G. I expect that guy to win it. I expect him to do great. I expect him to do great. If it's Trey Lance, if he does great on his third game, no, on his fourth game, then fair play. Look what he can do. Take him in the playoffs. Let him start. Me personally, I still think it should be a one, two, first, second quarter, Jimmy G, and then a third and fourth. But according to reports, and it's Friday at the moment, according to reports leading up, Jimmy G is limited. And he didn't do a lot of training because his thumb hurts. So you could have a train line start. I'll work on my next one. Reminder, fans. This is Trey Lance's second career start. Lol. Yeah. Correct. But look what that second second career did. Look how he he did. He did so well. So well. So if he can do well on second, you could risk it on third. Yeah, it will be a tough game. The Rams will be a tough game. Doesn't make for it Jimmy G or Trey Lance in. But take the risk. If you lose, you lose. I wouldn't get, like I said, madly angry. But if you put Jimmy G in, and like I said, according to reports, it was limited of practice because of his bad thumb, you want to take that risk? Let the kid do it. Because I don't think we have a chance at the Super Bowl anyway. There are too many great teams out there. And not only that, you don't know how good it will be as a rookie going in. I, I'm keeping an eye on the Patriots. Mac Jones. He's, he might have started from the beginning straight through. But my God, he has done wonders. And I'm, and I'm not looking at the team. I just wanted to know how the difference between Mac Jones and Trey Lance would have been. And Mac Jones is doing wonders. I'm not saying I wanted him. We've got Trey Lance. Thankful for Trey Lance. But look what Matt Jones is doing. Could he take you to a Super Bowl? Could the Patriots go to a Super Bowl? With him, I think they could. Because he's so confident and he's so good. It's unreal. Yeah, he's had sacks. Yeah, he's had the odd interception. If he learns as he goes along, he's the starter. It's going up like that. 
Shanahan want Jimmy G to start her, why wouldn't you give your third pick a more of a chance on the field? He doesn't want to. Why? Why won't he do it? You tell me. Leave a comment, by the way. You tell me. Here's the next one. How do the 49ers make the playoffs outside of beating the Rams next week? What? How do the 49ers make the playoffs outside of beating the Rams next week? Great offense, great defense. It will have to be like the Super Bowl 29. It will have to be that run that we had to the Super Bowl. It's got to be. The defense has got to be on form. The offense has to be on form. And whatever quarterback does it, they have to be mobile. And I'm sorry, if Jimmy G does it, he, he has to be mobile. He'll have to move. He'll have to have the people open. Like If there's an opening, just go for it. doesn't matter if it's short or long. With the has to be over at first and ten, first and ten, first and ten, straight to the end zone touchdown. If he sees one open down the field, does it. But his eyes have got to be on it. But yet again, like I said, reports are saying limited, bad thumb, stopped. Well, it, it, his thumb's a big injury than everyone is expecting. He's supposed to have surgery in the off season. You tell me. Next one. I know Trey has a lot to learn, but boy, was it nice to see some deep passes. Yes, it was. It was decent. He took risks. It pays off. One interception. Oh, dear. Did he do another interception? No, he had one interception in the whole game. One. Jimmy G's had one interception in the whole game, but does he do deep passes? And a lot of them, or some of them. No, he doesn't want to take that risk. Trey Lance took risks. A rookie took risks. Did it pay off? Yeah, it did. Because we won. Next one. Well, it looks like it's a do or die next week in LA. Well, of course. Doesn't matter who it is, we've got to win it. It has to be a, a win. Easy. Shanahan coaching is garbage once again. You know, Shanahan has took us to a Super Bowl. Fair play. He's done good. He's done well. And we, you know, I'm 50% with him. I'm 50% without him. The pl you know, the plays that he gets from that top, but the plays he sends to Shanahan or Trey Lance. You know what I mean? Especially, it, it's bizarre, isn't it? Because because you've seen Trey Lance play so good. The you know the playmaking is actually a bit decent, not great, but decent. But then since Jimmy G in, it's it fumbles, it just fumbles. It, it it's bizarre the plays. It's like I said, it's bizarre. Shanahan coaching is rubbish. Yeah, but there you go. And like I said, this is a pure example. Can we win a Super Bowl with the 49ers? Be theoretical about it. Let's not let's say you come in here and you're even a not not a fan. Let's say you just don't look at it, right? I'm, I'm I just like NFL. Could I think the 49ers could do it? can't see it if we beat the Rams if we beat the Rams I think we could possibly 50% of me will think yes and I have a 50% I mean look how many the, you know Cardinals Rams let's say us Bucks Bills Packers Patriots you're going up against the best and we lost against the Packers as well. You know what I mean? So we don't... Uh, listen, we don't know. We don't know. But that there, on the bottom, is 50-50. Let's not forget what's at stake this weekend and the rest of the way. Regardless of quarterback, let's get it. True. Can't pick my hat off to that. True. Because I think we could do it. But who do you want? Trey Lance or Jimmy G? Leave your comments, like I said. Me personally, I just... Man, I just want to win or lose. I'd rather Trey do it. There you go. I think Trey should start next week, no matter how Jimmy, how uh, how healthy Jimmy G is. Like I said, do I think Trey should start? Yes, but if we lose, we lose. Rebuild the squad. Get rid of the yearly ones that haven't been up to it. And then just rebuild slowly. <clears throat> but, like I said, report come out, I think it was yesterday or this morning, 
It's Friday early hours, so yeah, Thursday, Thursday afternoon or something. Jimmy G was limited because his thumb hurts. His thumb's worse than everyone expecting, but that's the reports from the 49ers reporters and stuff like that on the websites. So you might have Trey Lance. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, Trey thinks as highly of Jimmy as the rest of the guys do. I'm glad the 49ers are loyal, good teammates to each other. If you don't like hearing this, then you're a straight hater. This is on Niners Nation. Jimmy, like I've said a million times, he's one of the best team teammates and leaders uh, that have been out around. Uh, best team, uh, the best team mates and leaders I've been around. Trey Lance. I'm not saying Jimmy G is a not good trainer. Or he's not a good listener, or he's not a good teammate, or whatever. But look what a kid can do to a professional can do. See, you see what I mean? If Jimmy G's teaching Trey Lance, and Trey Lance is doing that, why can't Jimmy G do that? You know what I mean? Regardless, I don't hate Jimmy G. I like Jimmy G. The Garoppolo man. Oh, well, Garoppolo's Garoppolo, in it? But, you know, let's see what happens. 49ers, the, uh, this on the, uh, the SF Niners. 49ers, the Michael Ryan has been one of the best coordinators in the league and he's still in his rookie season. Uh, what's that, Dan Oski? What the Michael Ryan has done with the 49ers defense has been really, really impressive. Uh, Courage disguise is as good as anyone in the NFL right now. Yeah. I'm 50-50 about this. Yeah, you could say that. You could say we've done well. We could say that we've um, decent games, decent run. The, after the bye week, it was like, you know, it was like that when it after the bye week. But then... No, the defence itself. It it still needs improving. I think against the Houston, he did well. I give him that. Brilliant. But, do you think we can go well against the Rams? Is DeMarco Ryans ready? Is Ryans... Has Ryans got the perfect defence? And we're playing against the Rams. That has to be a Super Bowl game. That's what you've got to think of it as. A Super Bowl game. They've, they've got to, got to have the greatest defence going and the offence. Whatever play making they've got, whatever whatever plays they've got ready against the Rams on the defence is down to him. That coordinator has got to have dead on accuracy on everything he does. Because if not, the Rams will just walk all over us because they're offensive. Straight, their defence. Straight. I'm hoping we could do that. If he all one point, then we've done, you know. I think we've got a chance. I really do. But that's about it. That's about it with all of that. But like I said, Jimmy G or Trey Lance? Leave a comment down below, guys. Honestly, me personally, I still want Trey Lance to go. I want him to do it. I really do. I think if you've got a great defence, a great offence, get Trey Lance on it. But who knows? Like I said, Jimmy G got his thumb. They might put him in as a secondary, or maybe the first until he's he's that injured, and then they'll put on Trey. Who knows? I haven't got a clue. But yes, that is it. Leave your comments. Tell that down. Leave your comments. Tell me what you think for the whole video. Honestly, let me know, guys. Thank you very much as well for the 57 subscribers. Really fortunate. I appreciate you guys subscribed. And if you're new, subscribed. I've got more stuff coming out. I've got an update on uh, uh, Antonio Brown. Um, injury uh, and his situation that he's had and of course I've got my prediction on Saturday coming out so keep an eye on Saturday and then I've got my reaction after the game which I don't know, leave a comment should I live stream it on YouTube my reaction and the score on the bottom or would you like me to just wait, I'll watch it in the front room and I'll come in and I'll give you my reaction afterwards let me know, thank you very much again guys and I'll see you guys uh, on the next video